My name is Nicole, oh Nickel, and here are 7 celebrities that play Overwatch. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and stick around to the end of the video to hear all about the winners from the previous giveaways for the end of the year. Elon Musk. There was actually an Elon Musk interview where the interviewer asks him about which video games he plays, and immediately, without even hesitating for a second, Elon says Overwatch, and then follows up by saying that he also plays Hearthstone, and Hearthstone is a game that his kids play the most. I'm looking for a new video game to play, can you give me a recommendation? Overwatch. I play Overwatch. Overwatch is amazing. Overwatch is amazing, yeah. Generally, Blizzard does great stuff. Well, there's Hearthstone. That's what my kids play the most, is Hearthstone. Over on Twitter, Gizmodo actually asked him which heroes he mainly uses, and he said it was too embarrassing to say, but later on, in an unrelated thread, someone asked him about this again, and he actually said, okay, fine, Soldier 76, my dark secret is out. So, he's a 76 main, sounds like, but back in that first interview, outside of Overwatch, he also mentioned that he liked the older Deus Ex games as well, and has his own reasoning for as to why. Honestly, I think that that's really neglected. I mean, that's the, the criticism I heard of the latest Deus Ex, is the story, storytelling is, is kind of lame. And like, whereas the one, the prior Deus Ex, and the original, the original Deus Ex, the storytelling was amazing. I don't know if anybody's played, have you, do you play the original Deus Ex? That was killer. Yeah. Like the old Mario games had an mm -hmm. incredible story. Yeah. This next one is more than just a single person, it's entire group, BTS, I'm sure you guys have heard them by now, if not, they are enormously popular right now. And during a Yahoo Esports interview they did, they started asking them a couple of interesting questions, like, what do you like better, Starcraft versus League of Legends? Starcraft or League of Legends? Whoa! Starcraft! Starcraft! Then they actually ask him who their favorite player is. And even though they're not even talking about Overwatch, one of them says to the other, I think we can name Overwatch players here. And then someone says that they like Overwatch, and they even talk about which Overwatch YouTubers they like. Uh, who is your favorite player? Player. I like game is Overwatch. Yeah. You know oh, Yulmu yeah. Appa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, father, you know, father. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you, he's YouTuber. Ah, YouTuber. What's an Appa? Yulmu Appa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he is real father. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you know? We you don't know. make her. Yeah. We don't make Yulmu her fake. Yeah. Oh, V V. Okay, he, got, he, got, he got a name. I love Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. So your favorite player or team? Player. He is he he most character Hangul champion Diva. is Diva. Oh, Diva. Yeah. Oh, Diva. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, do you know Kakpok? <laughs> yeah, Kakpok is YouTuber. So maybe you would have expected that because they are a K-pop group and in Korea, esports are huge, so they have a lot of opinions and a lot of games they like to play. But it is interesting to hear their perspective on Overwatch. And by the time you guys finish watching this video, if there's anyone else you think I missed that I should have included in this video and you want me to put it in a future one, let me know down below in the comments. Next up is Henry Cavill. A lot of you guys probably know him as the one who played Superman since Man of Steel up through the more recent recent Justice League movie, and now he's actually doing the upcoming Witcher series for Netflix as in Witcher like the video game, but adapted for television. In this interview he did in Argentina, during a promo for The Witcher, someone asks him about him liking Overwatch, and he's kind of shy about saying which character he plays because he says that that character is really hated. But if you don't already know what his main is, take a guess down below in the comments what you think his main is before he reveals it here. Uh, you said in an interview that you play Overwatch, is that right? Uh, yes. Who do you it's mean? Been, it's, been, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, I, the answer I give to that is not going to be a popular answer. What, because this is what probably, is your main? This is probably the most hated character. Oh. When I first started playing this character, I want to defend myself. Yeah. <laughs> when I first started playing Please this Please don't character, break my heart. I, only, I, no, I, I probably will break your heart. Yeah. I, I have only just got back into the game. When I first, the game first came out, um, what was the rival game when Overwatch came out? Um, Paladins, what's his, like, it's Carby, I don't know. Uh, anyways, there was two very similar games, like, yeah. I played the other game loads, and then, you know, everyone stopped playing that game. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I better get into Overwatch then. And uh, so I played Overwatch, and I got back into it just, just this year. And the character who I had initially picked, who was like a, no one picks it because it's quite hard to play, and it's a support character, and now everyone hates this character because of whatever updates they had. Uh, Symmetra, 
Oh yes. no, she's great. Everyone hates. Every, everyone hates me. Yeah, her turrets yeah. were like. I, I either annoying. can't play or I'm just on easy mode. It's like. <laughs> Pick a side, guys. I thought it was also kind of interesting that he mentions that he used to play Overwatch's competitor before, and somebody mentions Paladins, but I think what he might be referring to is Battleborn. But if any of you guys know what specifically you think he's referring to, let me know down below as well. And it's funny that even people who consider themselves to be playing pretty casually still feel the hate for Symmetra, which is kind of crazy, because who exactly is sharing their opinions about Symmetra with him? If it's people in his life, or is he just reading stuff online? And if he is reading online, what is he reading or watching that makes him think that people hate Symmetra so much. Maybe he's a Battle.net forum aficionado or something. You guys probably all know T-Pain. He has a ton of hit songs, but he is also a fan of Overwatch, or at least has been in the past. He's tweeted about the Overwatch League a few times, and he's actually streamed Overwatch on Twitch a bunch. If you look at his Twitch right now, it's mostly Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so maybe he's not as interested in Overwatch currently, but there was a time when he looked like he was playing a bunch of Overwatch. In fact, I didn't even know this until recently, but he's actually uploaded a bunch of his Overwatch clips onto the official T-Pain music channel. And you can tell it's that one because now YouTube differentiates if it's a music channel or not by putting this little music logo. I'm guessing instead of the verify check mark or maybe in addition to it. So it is kind of funny that he put some of his Overwatch clips that are highlights from his Twitch streams onto his T-Pain official music channel. And after going through some of these, it doesn't seem like he really sticks to one character. Most of the clips he's jumping around between a bunch of different heroes. Widow's down. I've got you in my sights. Get him! There's like nobody there. God damn it. Everybody hit. Right? Uh -oh. How many? How many wasted? Nope. I've got you in my sights. In my sights. Oh, let's you. Oh. This next one might be one of the more obvious ones because he's pretty involved with a lot of things, Overwatch, and he even showed up to the Overwatch World Cup. I'm talking about Zed. He's a producer and a DJ who, according to his tweet, says he's hit Grandmaster and Overwatch. He was posting kind of his progress along the way. He had 3830 with a bunch of eyes. Then he got to 3956, being so close, and then boom, right afterwards, he hit GM at 4013. He also ended up performing at the Overwatch League Grand Finals as well. This one's not a major point in time. I just thought it was kind of funny because back in 2017, there was actually a Twitter thread with him and Deadmau5 where he told Deadmau5 he has to get Overwatch, but apparently Deadmau5 hates Overwatch, or at least in this moment he did. Zed also made an appearance on the casting counter where they compared his Lucio stats. Zed, <laughs> I, I tried to do some digging, okay? okay? I wanted to compare our Widowmaker stats, they wouldn't let me, you were too good. <laughs> so instead, <laughs> I've dug up a couple of your Lucio stats. I, made, I thought we would do a little comparison you know, with our in-game DJ I Lucio like himself. So, I mean, we, we gotta talk about this. What's going on here? The healing per second? Uh, it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not good at healing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's, it's just not really there. But, I mean, you're, you're winning in the majority of the other categories. Well, well the Lucy's Grammy coming up on the album, so I gotta be careful. Yeah. Might have <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up, it's coming up. And this list could go on for a really long time, but I'll just wrap it up by saying he's played with a bunch of Overwatch streamers or people playing Overwatch at the time, including Tim the Tatman and a whole slew of others. The reason I had to step back from this game was because, like, it made me so... I just, like actually angry when i would lose you know like at that high you know, like top 500 area but there'll be days uh -huh. where i would i would be 4200 at the start of my stream and then i would shut my stream off and i would be 3800 and i just want to like ram my head into a wall because i lost my gm i look like i'm bad right because it's just oh you win you win some you lose some you, I, man, you just got such a peaceful mindset, bro. I just need to find that, I guess. <laughs> you're like, you're like, actually Zenyatta. I kind of am Zenyatta. Zenyatta. <laughs> Another DJ on the list, Steve Aoki, in 2016 announced majority investment in Rogue. This was his statement at the time where he said, As many of my fans know, I've been a gamer all of my life and have been getting more and more involved in esports. I can finally take my love for gaming to the next level as an owner of Rogue, the professional esports team. As an avid Overwatch player, their dominance caught my eye, and after getting to know them, I realized we shared the same goals and interests in team building and competition. Later on, Dot Esports actually wrote a piece about 
what happened with Rogue's Overwatch team, where they said they weren't going to be able to secure a spot in the Overwatch League despite procuring the buy-in money and going through the whole process. The players on the team were released into free agency, and an ESPN report on the subject said that they attempted to sell its roster to a new organization, but was unsuccessful there as well. But that's all business stuff. Outside of the whole business aspect of it, Steve Aoki genuinely seems to love the game, and there's actually some gameplay out there with him playing the game like this one here with Team Liquid. Go this way and go over there. Yeah. So like it's not about sniping, it's about getting in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. But you'll see. Try the left flank. Terry Crews. You guys all probably remember this. Way back, Terry Crews really wanted to be Doomfist. There was a whole saga of things happening that made it seem like he was going to be Doomfist. And by B, I mean voice act as Doomfist. He said multiple times he loved the game. He even had the game running in the background in one of his videos. And he did a mock audition for Doomfist for Yahoo Esports. Obviously, this didn't end up coming to fruition, and he said that he didn't want to be the guy who hijacks the game since Blizzard has their vision set for what they wanted Doomfist to be already. But despite all that, he was still a fan of the game and made a pretty entertaining Doomfist audition. I'm Doomfist. Get ready to hurt. I could totally level a skyscraper. Your face, my fist. Your doom, make room! This one is for Cho Dong Ha, who may not be as well known for everyone in the US, like myself, I'm not super familiar with this guy, outside of what we talked about here, but there's a show called Produce 101, which is a boy group survival reality show, and basically the idea is that a public produces a boy group by choosing 11 of the members from the 101 trainees, all through a process of live voting and elimination. It's kind of like a lot of the shows we have here in the US, and in a lot of English speaking countries. According to Sum com in season two of the show one of the popular contestants Cho Dong Ha said that he was ranked 30th in the world and was quoted saying I'm ranked 30th for a game I play as a hobby and I've received an offer to become a pro gamer but my dream is to be a singer on stage he said I want to sing for the national producers in order to make my dream come true so clearly this guy must have been playing a lot of overwatch if way back then he already got an offer to become a pro gamer for presumably one of the teams I tried to do a little digging to see see if I could find out what his main was but if any of you guys know it let me know down below as well so before we close out the video if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up subscribe but I wanted to talk to you guys about all the winners they're all listed down below in the description if you or anyone you know have entered into the previous giveaways make sure to send them this video so they can check the description and just see if they're one of the winners if you are one of the winners make sure to reach out to us ASAP you will have to provide proof that you are the actual winner and if you really are the winner it's really easy to do it takes only a few minutes but that's to help counteract again and some bad actors that are trying to pretend that they're people that they are not. So if there's anyone in this group that won that we don't hear back from, we're actually probably going to carry it over into future videos or maybe we'll do it live. That's actually what happened last time. We had a few people that didn't reach out to claim their prize and so we just gave them all out live on the spot during one of our daily live streams linked down below. So make sure to follow that too in case we end up doing that as well. And please do check out some of the other videos we've recently come out with here. I have a feeling you guys will probably enjoy them. But either way, thanks a lot for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next one.